And we are back. Hello, guys. It is JoJo, a.k.a. Akonagi, with the FFA founders, myself and Mr. Founder here, which is my co-cast for the day. It's been a while since I had recently uploaded anything whatsoever. I'm pretty sure it's been like that way for FFA in general or him himself. Or Actually, he just got done uploading a video, my bad, from Friday. But how are you doing today, Mr. Founder? Me, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of things that I really love to cover in today's video, in today's live stream. If you guys are not subscribed to the Founders or the FFA Club's YouTube channel, go check that out. Um, we're going to start posting a lot more um, because there's a lot of things that are happening, especially in YouTube in general. COD is taking a big leap in multiple different directions. And if you're watching this from my YouTube channel, go check out Josh's Okanagi's um, Twitch channel as well. All right, let's see what we got here. Custom class. You got your class to set up? I'm good. I'm sniping today. All right. And being a little bitch. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what I'm just putting that out there. Classics? What are classics? Classics is oh, fun. Oh, here we go. Well, weekend warfare snipers only. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, that. dude, that so was. You want to be a sniping bitch, <laughs> dude. Earlier, oh my god, this was such a pain. Um, what trying to find a match? No, just like in general, just people were hard scoping like twenty four seven on this con oh. game. It was horrible. That's if you have a fast reaction pace, then you can take them out faster. Yeah, it, or if you can find them and just not let them see you and just take their asses out, which is yeah, fucking amazing. All right, so let's let's kind of start. Let's start with this uh, COD on the ground, boots on the ground game mm -hmm. that is coming out. Mm -hmm. What do you? Call what's your ideas? Two. Yeah, what's your ideas on this one? Oh, I think it looks good. After, to me, as soon as Infinite Warfare hit, it, I only got it for the campaign pretty much, and the zombies was pretty decent. The multiplayer online uh, started going downhill for me in Advanced Warfare because that was that was bad. <clears throat> and the, oh yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's Call of Duty. I think it's going to be Reviver as well as soon as Modern Warfare was remastered. It's going to be. It'll go pretty damn well. I think if you look at the number of people who bought uh, Infinite, for Infinite Warfare just to get Modern Warfare Remastered, um, you can actually see how many people want boots on the ground compared to how many mm -hmm. people want to be floating around well, in the we, air. Yeah, we were told that we weren't going to be able to get Modern Warfare Remastered unless we purchased Infinite Warfare with it or a certain legacy DLC bundle or something like that. But I'm going into Walmart and the GameStop, and I'm seeing they're selling it separately now. Like, there's an actual case for it and everything, instead of having to actually buy both the games itself. I, I think the reason behind that one is because people are not... Like, they're giving out two games. One of the games that no one's buying or wanting to play, and, like... Yeah. To me, I feel like it's a it's a great game. They made they made it good. I just think people don't want that type of game right now. Uh, boots on the ground has always been that game. Any game that has boots on the ground has always been like that perfect COD game, or a want to play COD game. To me, I I don't even remember playing boots on the ground because like after so many years of them keep doing this jump boost and flying through the air. Wall running. The suits. Oh yeah, I I don't even remember even playing Black Ops Two, or anything like that. Like, I I barely even remember playing this game because how shit that the CODs were just to bring this up. And I've noticed I don't know if it's just me or is it you that it seems like more of these bigger clans are just kind of saying, hey, I do not want to play. Um, boots on the ground and I, I i don't want to play any game that is not boots on the ground yeah no I, i'm i i see that there's a bunch of big clans that are 
like hyped for this Call of Duty World War Two, like seeing as in there was Pomage playing the beta. He said he liked it a lot, and I wouldn't blame him. I mean, that's what people yeah. want to do is boots on the ground. On to top that, the World War games were pretty damn interesting and fun as well. Yeah, I I, I kind of look at it. And I'm like, I I look at some of these bigger clans. Um, especially FaZe being one of them, and a lot of their people are leaving because they want to do their own thing, they want to go back to Boots on the Ground, and it seems like, to me, FaZe is not moving towards COD anymore. They're drifting farther no, they're and farther away. Towards. They have uh, CSGO as one of their mains. I, I still don't, I, like, personally, to me, I don't like CSGO as much. Um, it's not, yeah, it's not it that fun to me. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. But like CSGO itself, I mean, a lot of people prefer it kind of due to the fact that not only is it on PC, it's also on consoles. I think you got to buy it through the Xbox first, though. But, um, no, it's easy to edit, and there's a bunch of things that you can do with it and be creative with it. But, you know, going back to the situations with the big clans and wanting a switch up or runner ups with anything is, uh, you have Pomage who had left phase a while back. I know it's old info, but it's still amazing how the comments or statements that he made towards the subject at hand in general, saying how he somewhat used phase back in the day to get more subscribers for him, but now he's an optic now. So I wonder how that's going to go down since if is he going to do the same thing he did to phase to optic or is he going to actually stick with it? I know he's done more than one thing with optic and he's sticking with it so it seems so far but that could always change in the future yeah completely i completely agree with that one. Ooh, dude i just got a collab this is our like personally dude i i i think this new cod game is going to be amazing to play i i just i wonder um how how phase is gonna actually do with this because you see multiple phase members like phase blank banks is now phase um was it i forgot he shortened his name though and it just kind of i have no idea it, it seems like no idea what he most of these that. phase members like the phase house um when they stopped playing cod it seems like everyone else kind of said hey Phase is not doing COD anymore, or and like that's the big focus, and that's how people see it. Well, yeah, um, the phase it originally started on uh, Call of Duty. I mean, that's where that's their main game and what they had done and everything. And then one of the big contributors, Sprat, made his statement. He recently had left Phase and whatever, and it's 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 a big hit since he contributed on montages and everything that Phase had done. Pretty much, he was almost on top of hitting clips and, you know, doing things to contribute towards the team. Oh, yeah, I think uh, one of the big things I've noticed is it seems like Sprat was done with FaZe's shit. Like, to me, I think he was very nice in how he left. But to me, I also think he was yeah, just... Yeah, no, him and how he left, he, was, he left on very good terms. And he, like, wishes... I know he wishes the best for FaZe. I mean, I mean... There, he was there for six years. For, yeah, six, almost seven years. He's been there since for six years, so the 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 amounts of work and time, I you could look at it. All he wanted is to have a chance, and to be like one of the bigger guys, like what people focused on, like the household phase, instead of being oh uh, by yourself, like um, like phase Jeb. He was by himself, but he got a lot of glory because of who he was. Um, but Sprat did not. as He didn't get as much glory because he was more behind the scenes. And it looked like FaZe was trying to cover up and try, not really cover up, but try to say, Hey, I'll give you everything you ever want, as much as you want, if you stay. They really needed him. And because Sprat left, you had multiple other people leave. And you look at it and it's like... Sprat stuck up and stood for all the cod. He was the cod guy in phase. He, now he's left, 
what is going to happen to FaZe and COD? Is is FaZe going to do more of that vlogging style, or are they still gamers by heart? Which, what is it? Because you look at it, a lot of people in FaZe have stopped in general uploading videos to YouTube, stopped even trying with montages. You still look at Jev, he makes a forever Jev or something like that. Forever Jev. Forever Jev yeah. or something. Yeah, he still does those, but you don't see all the other FaZe members. I don't think it was Forever Jever. It might have been one of the names that was concluded to as an idea, but I think it's For Jever. Yeah, For Jever. That's it. Um, but I, 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 I totally see a lot of people just saying, hey, I'm done with FaZe. Plus, with Banks, my, my aspect, my view on this is FaZe Banks is doing some shit. He's in... A lot of drama right now and when he was in drama before with the pills and being the addict he was uh, it was a bad show or a bad a bad view for phase and now that he is now in more drama with people like team 10 what do you think is gonna happen to face you think phase is gonna slowly drop members because of this aspect that because members of phase is now going to a um i can do whatever i want phase had done something involving red or also known as the red militia and i know carl who is a big contributor like spread he left for red and that was a while back ago but as in a contributor i have no idea if who was going to be in what anymore or what they're going to be trying to work on and accomplish now like to me, I feel like Phase has failed, um, and that's something big for a lot of people. Maybe to a point, they haven't failed. To, probably failed to a point. I just think Phase is done with COD, um, and that aspect of gaming, because gaming for Phase was the biggest thing. Like, Phase was one of the the, the people I always watched, I, almost all the members back in the day. And now it's it's just like a dream, or it's just all memories of what you used to be. Oh, uh, that's just my idea. Yep. Um, to me, I feel like Phase is kind of done with gaming. They're they're looking at other aspects, other other ways to bring themselves views and um, right now I'm not even sure it's about money anymore uh, for some of these members uh, my, a lot of money and just using a standpoint and trying to get their own selves built up there's a lot less contributors now towards phase I mean oh yeah not, that there's not a, not less than contributors they'd still do it but not as they used to be it's crazy how um, there's so many people that were trying to sponsor FaZe and now are drifting away from that. Like, they're not yeah, trying. The sponsorships, there's a lot of people that are wanting to do a sponsorship towards FaZe and even... But Pomage. slowly they drop. Remember, yeah, they slowly drop away, but they're still getting somewhat of sponsorships or people wanting to sponsor them. And I wouldn't blame them. There's a lot of people that probably would still want to sponsor them for the notoriety of how much they have done and what they have done but back in the day i remember one of my idolists were cross daniel cross for a phase and his like i don't know if it was tempest or it was it was something for those montages and he was just one of my one of my big idols and he even had put in his statement as well i'm pretty sure pomage and anybody else who had their statements when they left for phases they had opportunities and they decided not to take them and i think that's one of the biggest disappointments that i'm disappointed in would what do you see do you see any opportunities that these guys can take to bring back like i know this new game is coming out but like do you think if they put their their feet into that water that they will be able to grow and become the cod um cod again like a cod clan again as they used to be 
As itself, I think they might be able to pull back into from the new COD that will be coming out, they might be able to do something with it. And who knows, there might be another recruiting challenge. Find new players with different styles now. And then that could replenish and bring new talent and not just have the same originals that they have now. Because I don't remember the last time seeing phase like, clan recruitment challenge. I mean, I think the last one might have been in 2016, 2015. I don't remember. And that's where I'm kind of looking. Are they? Do they even care about COD anymore? Are they like... Because... To me, it kind of seems like they are dropping everything COD related now and not caring about it as much as they used to. Like, they used to put COD um, forward for everything. Like, COD was the number one thing that they always wanted to do stuff in. And I, I feel like they're losing hope in COD or they're not inspired enough. Um, and you could see that with them not doing the phase recruitment challenges or anything like that. I feel like they just want to be a closed off community now more than anything. Maybe they're like sick of the fame or something like that. And you could just be. don't see it. I like, I don't know if it's just you or it's just me or it's like everyone that is watching this. But I grew up watching phase multiple members. Oh, yeah. No, I remember and it was used to be uh, one of the original founders, Face Housecatter, when Temper for, had his first introduction. He'd be like, hey guys, I'm Temper, one of the new members of the team for Phase," And he just gave his little introduction story. Everybody had their own background. It seemed like they gave a little bit more care towards who they were than rather be like, hey, yeah, this is me. This is what my accomplishments are done. Yes, accomplishments are vitality towards being able to have success towards it, but it's not the same. Uh, through, like, to me, I, I've seen and I've watched FaZe for many fucking years, and I just, I, I see them just drop dramatically with what they, they are and what they want to be, I guess, what they could be. Um, like, to me, I feel like, like, Sprat was that number one thing that was holding the COD together, and now it's gone, that they have nothing now. Like, they have nowhere to go. Like, they can bring each other back, but you you know that none of these guys want that. Like, because they're not even trying. You see Jeb, though, on the other hand, pushing and doing the most he can because he still wants this. Even especially moving into his new house. He just got his new house, if you didn't know that. And he's pushing for COD still, like, nonstop, 24-7. He's wanting to do COD. Do you think Jeb will leave? He, I don't think he will leave. I mean, who knows? It's still a long process, and there's still a long story of what will go happen and everything towards any of the matters at hand. To me, I feel like how everything is... There's the people that live in the house, and then there's the people outside the house. The people outside the house don't really get to talk to the people in the house, and when they do, it's a little bit different. Um, mm. Like, they don't talk as much. They don't talk to the owners. Like, the people that live in the house are basically the owners, um, or the people yeah. that everyone actually attends, and, uh, attends to watch, wants to watch, because they were supposed to be, and they used to be, the people that did all the COD, that everyone loved because they're they made good content and with moving on to other games i cannot completely understand and moving on to other things in general with their own youtube channels i completely understand um but even you could see like the phase channel is dropping like there's not as many people subscribe to it it's slowly going down at least that's what and I then see. I also remember this was a while back too, when Phase Two Million <laughs> montage oh. had hit. Like oh yeah. They had a million something subscribers or less than that, and all of a sudden I remember there was a conspiracy and a bunch of theories that Phase had subbotted, and I remember there was a big hype about that. Oh yeah, right now Phase stands at four million and five fifteen, uh, two hundred and eight. So, like, they are still up there. But you go to other people, 
and they have still more, um, like even Sprat. Sprat is still not even in the millions because he's not one of those people in the house. I don't know if it's just me, but it, and it still looks like Sprat has changed his whole YouTube channel around too. Um, and to me, I feel like Sprat is doing a lot better without FaZe because it seemed like FaZe was holding him back. Um, there was another guy, I forgot his name, but he also left FaZe and his statement was basically the same um, that Sprite held FaZe together or held the COD together and now he's gone. They don't want to be there. Yeah. But all I can say is every statement that anybody has made, I know that it might not be such a big impact on some people's standards, but I have a feeling that the contribute one of the contributors towards phase Sprat is going to be a big hit. But anyway. That's yeah, like the we, end of this. We covered all yeah. Our, yeah, I we, think we covered we, all our topics for this debate. There's a lot more that we can talk about on this debate. Um of course, but like we covered everything that was mainly needed to be covered to me at least. Um, I I just want to know where Face is going from this because you heard Sprat basically say um, he was not happy there uh, with then the last year he's been thinking and he thought for multiple months on end that he wanted to leave, and multiple other Face members have said the same. Now there's people not even posting, um, especially in the house. Um, he he just doesn't see them capable of doing COD anymore because they're not wanting it. With this new game out, FFA will be covering it. Guys, if you guys want to come and check us out, we will be starting to post more videos. We haven't lately only because we've been working on our legal side as much as possible um, to make sure we can um, own our name and so we can keep putting out content and keep growing as a community of people that want to have fun youtubers and stuff like that um, Josh any input on that one uh, not too much but I would agree with everything that has been stated if you guys want to keep us updated if you guys have any comments down, put it on. There's going to be three separate videos. There's going to be on Mr. Founder's channel, the main channel, FFA, my channel as well. If you guys have comments or want to see something of a topic discussed, don't be afraid to put it in the comments section below. Leave a like and subscribe. But all I, I think all we can both say is what's happening to COD. Anyway, guys, this is Akanagi, and it's been good. Peace, guys. Have a great day.